Are aggressive brain tumors on the rise in England? And how about the USA? How about many countries? They are on the rise in many countries. I will link below to all articles. It is so sad to see how many people in, in every country, but particularly Western countries, and those in Western countries, they do believe that they are the smartest on the earth. And clearly, they have demonstrated that they are not very intelligent at all. Yeah, hard to hear. Those of you who have the knowledge that these frequencies are really, really dangerous, and you are still using your cell phone, putting that cell phone right up to your ear, you still have Wi-Fi, uh, when you have the option of getting an Ethernet cord to just ground those frequencies to use the Internet, those of you who are still giving your children cell phones and sending your children into incredibly dangerous environments all across the country, those Wi-Fi schools, what, what is going on here? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Have you become addicted? to this technology. So addicted, just like an alcoholic, just like a, 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 a drug user, just like a crackhead. They have to get their fix and they don't care about their health. They don't care about their decline. They don't care about anything but getting their fix. A study to be released online in the Journal of Environmental and Public Health. One of the authors of that study or the researchers of that study said we found a sustained and highly significant increase in GBM throughout the 21 years and across all ages. Why are we finding an exponential increase in cancers in all types of diseases, even TB. New York City sees largest increase in tuberculosis cases in 26 years. How can that be? What is going on? But hardly anybody takes a step back and tries to examine the causes. And the cause is our environment has become exceedingly toxic and one of the causes is the depopulation agenda to get rid of an awful lot of people and they are releasing an awful lot of these viruses, releasing bacteria so that people do get sick. It suddenly jumped 10% last year in New York City. The largest increase since 1992. This is so frustrating, guys. It is so frustrating to watch. It's heartbreaking to watch. So many people get sick. And it is, it is Maddening to watch how many parents are vaccinating their children, handing these cell phones and this technology to their children, sending them off into these public schools where their health is getting destroyed, their brains are getting destroyed. And no matter how much information comes out proving, proving the biological effects of these frequencies in particular, doesn't matter doesn't matter. The Journal of Environmental Public Health. The conclusion states, the rise is of importance for clinical resources and brain tumor etiology. The rise cannot be fully accounted for by promotion of low-grade tumors, random chance or improvement in diagnostic techniques, 
as it affects specific areas of the brain and only one type of brain tumor. Despite the large variation in case numbers by age, the percentage rise is similar across the age groups, which suggests widespread environmental or lifestyle factors may be responsible. Lifestyle factors, those are the factors that can be changed. Like the use of this technology, reduce exposure. Do not give children cell phones that they put up to their ear and they use constantly. Hell, schools are permitting them to use cell phones in schools. Can you imagine baby boomers going to a school when we were kids and allowing uh, the school allowing us to make phone calls to use in classrooms cell phones? What is that about? I, I, the idiocy of our society now is so unbelievably obvious that it, it, it's really hard to control or to maintain your own sanity. Ubiquitous presence of cell phone, stingray, and other microwave towers, arrays, and antennas, plus the inordinate use of cell phones and other technologies using gigahertz ranges of microwaves to receive, send, and store all types of silly information no one ever would have thought about a generation ago. It is not that long that this technology has existed and so many people have become so incredibly addicted to it they cannot get rid of it. So easily habituated is the human being. Computer games and other high-tech gizmos are to blame only if humans use them, which they do to the point of becoming addicted to technology. We know what drug and controlled substance addictions do to human organisms. Well, step back and realize what high-tech addition will do. Brain cancers. Brain cancers. It is a uh, glioblastoma multiform, GBM, the most common and most malignant primary tumor of the brain. It's associated with one of the worst five-year survival rates among all human cancers, with an average survival for, from diagnose of only one year. Wow, get rid of the population quick. So... The IARC of the World Health Organization, back in May 2011, released this statement. The World Health Organization, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, has classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans, based on an increased risk of glioma a malignant type of brain cancer associated with wireless phone use. That's the World Health Organization. And you would think that that would be enough for people to, hey, reconsider their chronic obsessive use of cell phones. So why are public health agencies and state public utility commissions not doing something to collar the unprecedented takeover by the microwave technology sector for polluting the environment with electro smog? Well, one reason is the depopulation agenda. The second reason is because you have the industry doing the studies 
and the industry with all of its power and might coming for, through the money that the telecommunication industry has, they're able to destroy the independent scientists and researchers who put out the studies showing the biological effects of this of the non-thermal uh, frequencies, non-thermal radiation waves. They destroy them. They call them crap pots. They call them conspiracy theorists. We, we know how dangerous these frequencies are. We're called conspiracy theorists. We're called crazy. And for some reason, the human being communicating that message to people, they can't even see how incredibly stupid is that message. Because any healthy adult would realize that whatever is being communicated to them, if they don't, if they have not done the research to find out for themselves, then they would know that just rolling their eyes at somebody and calling them a conspiracy theorist is stupid. It reflects how unintelligent they are. What a messed up society we live in. So Dr. Dr. Henry Lay of the University of Washington found in his radio frequency research, Does Funding Matter? that apparent industry biases do exist, even to the point of not reporting the results for consumers to take into consideration. He found that non-industry studies found 70% harmful effect of radio frequency radiation Industry studies only found 32% harmful effect. Just looking at these numbers, if you have a healthy brain, you would realize the discrepancy and then you would be motivated to do research for yourself to find out what the truth is. Non-thermal adverse health effects result from all types of microwave generated technologies, including smart meters, baby monitors, cell phones of any genre or um, of any of the 2G, 3G, 4G, and wow, what's going to happen with 5G, but also Wi-Fi. And all those satellites in the sky bombarding us with microwave radiation. Do not leave a comment below my video saying there are no satellites. But where are? Where are all of the studies regarding the impact of 5G? Well, we heard our former FCC commissioner say, we're not even going to study it. We're going to roll it right on out. And wow, what a profit we will make. What is going to happen with 5G? Well, in Houston, I have a friend who had to move into a hotel, a FEMA hotel, because of Harvey. Her home flooded out. She had before moving into that hotel, been sensitive to the frequencies, but her husband was not. And at the hotel, and hotels are bombarded with Wi-Fi, he became sensitive. And then they had to move into an apartment before moving back into their home. And they're living in, in Houston, across from an interstate and a shopping mall, being bombarded with frequencies where they were not when they were living at home and her husband became more and more sensitive. She became worse. The decline, much of it, I'm sure, relating to the fact that neither one of them could sleep. The buzzing that her husband was hearing was so intense and he was waking up 
It's a cumulative effect. So you may be feeling fine now, and you're going to keep your Wi-Fi, and you're not going to reduce your exposure because you feel fine now. Well, guess what? These frequencies are attacking you 24-7, and they are affecting every cell in your body, and it's only a matter of time before you will begin to experience the adverse effects. And when you get there, it is very difficult to feel okay again. So you don't want to get there, right? Right. So are other countries, including the USA, experiencing similar GBMs? Microwave News reports in an article what's going on in the United States. GBM have previously been seen in other countries, notably in the Netherlands, Denmark, an increase, and I will tell you, Canada, I posted a video on my original Kafka Winston World channel that was about Canada in their um, public health ministry, Department of Public Health, I don't know the name of it, but they were concealing the fact that brain tumors were on the rise, calling it something else. We have a huge increase in brain tumors. And I will link below to this non-thermal biological effects of microwaves. This is a paper uh, that is an overview of the diverse biological effects of non-thermal microwaves and the complex dependence of these effects on various physical and biological parameters. I've not read this. I just came across it. Just to give you a jump start, the link is below. Do you hear in my voice frustration? Do you hear maybe a tinge of anger? Yes, because not just me, but many others are forced to live in this environment. And we are forced to live in this environment because of our fellow Americans who simply do not want to use their brain and don't care about their health, their children's health, my health, their fellow citizens' health. They don't care. They just love this technology. And they won't even consider that it's dangerous because they get to talk to Alexa and they get to talk to anybody who calls them when they're shopping in a supermarket or they get to text obsessively with their friends. Listen, I'm not saying that this technology is bad, how it's being used is bad. And when cell phones first came out, I have to say, I had no interest. I had to get one because I was a practicing attorney and the only use of it was for emergencies. And yes, should a client have an emergency? Should something happened and I had to be at court. That was it. Now I remember going for walks with friends who would ask to go when I'd be walking my dogs in the woods and sure enough their phone would ring and sure enough they would answer it and they would be yakking away and I would think to myself what did you ask to go for a walk with me for? What is the point? It is such a disruption. It is so incredibly rude. But suddenly this kind of behavior manifested very, very quickly with everybody. And everybody just started taking off with it. And it has been so dangerous to even our social connection with one another. But 
I will link below. Brain tumor rates are rising in the United States. The role of cell phone and cordless phone use. The incidence of glycoma or gly glioma. The most common malignant brain tumor has been increasing in recent years in the United States. The incidence of the GBM, which accounts for about half of all gliomas, increased in the frontal and temporal lobes and then the cerebellum among adults in the United States. And more kids are getting brain cancer. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. I love that cell phone that you gave me for Christmas. You know, I don't like the fact that I have to live now in a in an environment that's dangerous to my health. And I don't like the fact that I have to struggle every single day. And I don't like actually reading the comments of all, all of you. Don't stop leaving the comments. But seeing how many people are affected by these frequencies alone. But when I come across this, what we are doing to children, adults doing this to children, that's when I realize that we are so lost, so incre we are a lost people, not just Americans. It is, it's hard to take. <laughs> and then you come across this, this milk resistant ice cream is here. Hey, yeah. Now you get to eat your ice cream that doesn't melt. Kind of like that snow that doesn't melt normally anymore. Would I eat melt-resistant ice cream? Mm, no. No. Now, the idiocy, the abject idiocy that we are living. You guys tell me. How are you doing with it? Because it's really, 